Welcome to Soaring Museums. I'm Lisa Honig Buxbaum, CEO and founder of Soaring Words. We're at the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, in the center of New York City. Why would 55,000 people come to New York City and wait online for five hours to get rained on? Hi, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Nicole, I'm from Brooklyn. How long have you been waiting online? For almost nine hours. Nine hours? Yeah. You think it's going to be worth it? Yeah, definitely. I did some research, so I knew it was going to be a long time. Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm from Rockland County, and we've been waiting on this line for nine hours. Dave, Rockland County to dad. Nine hours. <laughs> You're her dad? You look yeah. amazing. Okay. <laughs> Hi, what's um, your name? Where are you I'm from? I'm Molly Rubino. I'm from Spain. I came to, I used to live here, but I came to visit. I'm like lucky that I got to, like in the time frame that I came, that I was able to go see this exhibition, and I'm really excited. Hi, uh, I'm Ike. I'm also from Taiwan, and yeah, we've been here like since like six six o'clock this morning. It's crazy, but like, I think it'll be worth it. Excellent. Have fun inside. Thank you. Let's go inside and see what all the excitement is about. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous! Listen to the noise of the rain. I want to go inside. Let's go. Wow, look at me. <laughs> I'm not even getting wet. It's pouring and I'm totally dry. This is a really positive experience of empowering you to feel like you control what's happening around you. And you can have a very individualized experience by yourself or a group experience kind of roaming around in the rain and experiencing sort of how things change both with the light, the shadows, and the water as you move through the space. We hope that the rain brings you just a little bit of joy. We wish we could bring you here and bring you into it ourselves, but we hope that seeing it on camera will give you a little bit of the experience for yourself. We hope that you're doing well and we love you. The inventors of this exhibit use 3D tracking cameras and sensors to stop the rain and keep people dry. We're here with two of the creators of the Rain Room exhibit, Hannes and Flo. So this is so exciting to meet you both, artists, inventors. Can you tell us what inspired you to create this concept? The first thing was an idea of a fantasy or a vision of how incredible it must feel to be ex immersed in a rainstorm yet be protected from it somehow. The, the multi-sensory experience and the idea was strong enough I guess to, to for us to follow it through to really figure out how we can do that, how we could make something, create something that would offer us that experience. Yeah, that was like a three, four year process from starting very small, how to make one raindrop, like how high the ceiling needs to be. How high does the ceiling have to be to make one perfect raindrop? We're here, we're like at six, at six meters, and that's, that, that gives you about three quarters of the velocity, of the final velocity that rain has. So we're getting, we're getting pretty close, close enough. Kids, smaller children, they don't perceive rain as annoying. They just run out, get soaked. I remember it as a small child, you know, in a rainstorm. It was awesome. You don't care if you get wet or, or not. It's something which do the, the older you grow, the more you try to be in control. You don't accept it as a natural thing or surrounding you. You, you fight it. You take an umbrella or you run for cover. And you see it in the rain room as well. Kids just look up. They don't really understand or trust the system. And they just run <laughs> to have the actual getting soaked experience uh -huh. and it's beautiful to see and then some assume that they have magic hands suddenly because it stops where they are when they stand still and so on so it's a it's a very engaging um, relationship between a natural phenomena and the actual person we see all the different characters yeah. like how kids approach it and what they do inside and how they how they get wet Weather is an interesting barometer, a reflection on our feelings and attitudes. Some people love it when it's warm and sunny outside. Other people can't wait to get inside by the air conditioning or fans. When it's snowing, some people love to go outside and build a snowman or play in the snow, while other people can't wait to get inside with a cup of hot cocoa. It's the same thing with rain. I love rain. The pitter-patter sound, 
the feeling of a gentle rain on your umbrella, watching a rainstorm inside, and knowing that it's pouring rain when you're under the covers. Being inside during a rainstorm can make you feel cozy and safe. Sometimes I like to go for a walk in the rain. Like the weather, there are some things in life that we simply cannot control. But we can take strength and comfort by learning how to control our reactions. We can learn to appreciate the positive moments in every situation, like a smile from a teacher or a nurse, or a kind word from a stranger, or the opportunity for you to do something kind for someone else each and every day. This reminds me of the famous saying that every cloud has a silver lining. This adage invites us to find something good in each situation. Rain can feed and nourish plants and even people. So even though it's pouring all around you, you can stay positive, sunny, and hopeful inside. Rain and water are rejuvenating and give you a lot of energy. Water is life. Did you know that 50% of our bodies are made of water? Let's use the rain to remind us how to grow more positive and to replenish positive feelings each day. Let's do some soaring visualizations together. It's fun and easy to do. Simply close your eyes and listen to the sounds and imagine yourself in a different location. Close your eyes and listen to the rain. Imagine that you're next to a giant waterfall and it's gently raining on you. Or you can see yourself in the middle of the rainforest. <laughs> or maybe you're in the middle of an amazing thunder shower. Imagine you are standing next to a beautiful fountain in the middle of a lush park. Or sitting next to a babbling brook. You can think about the healing power of rain or water when you want to wash away something annoying or irritating. Doing these healing visualizations can help you find the calm within the center of the storm. When you focus on these healing visualizations, you can relax and take yourself a million miles away to wherever you want to be. Scientific studies show us that doing these healing visualizations create instant changes in our bodies. Our breathing and heart rate slows, adding to our sense of relaxation and healing. Go to SoaringWords.org and check out all of the soaring visualizations that you can listen to and enjoy on your own. You can also create soaring artwork inspired by what you saw today in the rain room or these visualizations to decorate the hospital rooms of so many children. Soaring words is the power to heal.